Welcome to episode 589 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Robert Farrington from thecollegeinvestor.com. I encourage you to be inspired to become a better steward through financial wisdom by listening to this show, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mater. You can go back to the job that you've hated for years. You can go back to behavior just like normal. But you can also use this as a stimulus to reset, refocus, and change. See, the truth is, oftentimes, you know, we think of change as coming out because things are hard. You know, it's difficult. It's Welcome, and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about developing your influence through stewarding your talent, I talk with you about how the question, what do you want to be when you grow up, isn't about your age. How at times like this with the pandemic and everything that's going on, you may be refocusing and why sometimes it's not about things being too hard, but rather things being too easy that makes us change. You've heard me talk about developing your talent And one of the best ways to do that is through books. But if you're like most people today, it's hard to find the time to read. And that's why today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Go to inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to sign up and you can get a 30-day free trial. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from and you can pick one and listen your way to developing your talents via Audible. That's inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to get your free trial and listen to great books the same way you're listening to this podcast. What do you want to be when you grow up? You know, that's one of those questions that when I was growing up, when I was a kid, I used to hate getting that question. I used to hate getting asked that. It, It frustrated me to no end because it just felt like, such a huge decision and it, it, like it was something that once I said an answer, I was locked into that. You know, as I've gotten older, I've realized that the truth is that's kind of a question that you can ask yourself over and over again. You know, maybe the when you grow up part is a little bit strange whenever you're 50 or whenever you're 60 or whenever you're 85, but maybe asking instead, what do you want to be? in this next phase of your journey would be a better way of asking it. It's really not about age. It's about looking at your life and how things are changing, identifying what's important to you, what you really want to do and what you want to get out of it and what you want to use to pour into other people. It's about figuring out What is important in this next phase? See, the truth is we go through the journey in life and we kind of move through different phases. If if you think about it, when you were young, you were kind of in a learning phase where you were beginning to bring in knowledge and learn new things. And then later you get to be often in an acquisition phase where you're you're bringing in, you're acquiring a, a new house, you're acquiring a new relationship. You're acquiring different things into your situation. And then you begin to mature and develop new steps and new phases and new identities. And then you kind of get into a pre-retirement phase and even retirement. But in each of those phases, different things become important to you. You identify different things that you want to do. You refocus on different priorities. At least if you're intentional, you can do that. Because what do you want to be in this next phase of my life always applies. And that next phase may be a month, a week, a year, a decade. It depends on what's going on. 
It's about thinking and acting intentionally, not just reacting or going passively through your life. At times like this, when when things are going chaotic and there's all sorts of news and you see one person who's posting about how the epidemic really isn't that big of a deal, and then you see somebody else who's posting about how this is all a big conspiracy, and then you see somebody else who's talking about the real health impacts or posting pictures of themselves or their best friend with the, the virus. And yet there's people all over the pace posting all different news and all different things are coming in. Maybe you've been affected directly by the virus. Maybe you've lost your job or your income has decreased or maybe your business has picked up and it's doing better than it's ever been. Whatever it is, all of this change, all of this chaos oftentimes makes us begin to to feel overwhelmed. But what I want to encourage you to do is take a step back and refocus and ask yourself, what do you want to be in this next phase of your life? Not what do you want to be right now in response to the pandemic, but look ahead a little bit. What do you want this next decade to look like? What do you want this next five years to look like? Not necessarily painting all of the details, but dream a little bit. This may be an opportunity to press the reset button and Leave that position that you've hated all the time and start a new phase of your journey. Maybe it's a a time to refocus and recognize that you need to pour into your relationships more and you need to spend more time with your family. Maybe it's a time when right now, because you're overwhelmed with family, that's hard to believe, but you recognize that the truth is that all the things that you thought were important maybe aren't that important after all. That that trip to Starbucks was fun, but there are still ways that you can do and socialize and connect. And that's what you need to do when you come out of it. Whatever it is, ask yourself the question, what opportunities come out of this? What change comes out of this? What do I want my life to look like as we come out? Because you can just return to normal. You can go back to eating out 17 times a day. You can go out all of the time. You can go back to living on more than you make and going into debt. You can go back to the job that you've hated for years. You can go back to behavior just like normal. But you can also use this as a stimulus to reset, refocus, and change. See, the truth is, oftentimes, you know, we think of change as coming out because things are hard. You know, it's difficult. It's, it's hard on me. It's painful. And so now I'll change. And that's true. There is truth to that. But you also have to worry about things being too easy. See, sometimes we just get into the rut of doing things the same way we've always done them because it's too easy. It's so smooth, that path, that journey, that direction, that going to work every day, that doing the same thing every day becomes a habit and a routine that's so smooth that getting out of it becomes hard. So maybe you can use this time when your routines are disrupted, your habits are disrupted, your mindset's disrupted, all of this chaos is going on to tune some of that out and to reset and refocus and come out of this on the other side, and don't just go back to normal, but actually make positive change in your life. Create something new and something different. Begin living towards your dream in a way that you never would have done without stopping and being intentional and asking yourself, what do I want to be when I grow up? What do I want to be in this next phase of my journey? Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of talent, you can go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash talent and sign up for our five-week series on the stewardship of talent. 
Or if you're in the U.S., you can text 44222 Talent Tips. That's Talent Tips to 44222 and get those tips. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.